So, but I, I came here to, to stay, I guess. <laughs> I, have to I, don't know. I don't think they're going to send me anywhere else now. I'm not at this age of the game. <laughs> James Edward Ray Sr. is the pastor at Wesley United Methodist Church in Pineville. He met with Ken Burns producer Clark Burnett at the grave site of J.B. Lafargue. Ray is a lifelong local resident who graduated from Peabody, which Lafargue founded in 1865. And I've never seen a grave before that the title was professor. Burnett is partnering with local historian Michael Wynn, who found and dug out the grave two weeks ago. We need to remember people like this. If we feel that education is important in Louisiana, then we need to honor the leaders of the past. Lafargue was the most prominent African-American educator that Louisiana ever had, if not one of the greatest educators that Louisiana has ever had. Burnett says this is the first on-the-ground trip for the project. The end result will most likely be a four-part series on PBS in 2027, with each episode lasting two hours. When you're working on a documentary of this caliber or of, you know, of this scale, uh, you've got to do a lot of research, you've got to spend a lot of years. So in part, we're going to be filming just beautiful scenic footage of Louisiana. And here in Pineville and Alexandria, we're going to be connecting with folks who actually know the history and are connected to the history. And even though it was really difficult to find his grave, according to Michael Wynn, the more we're digging, the more we're finding, and uh, that's always a good sign. Burnett says that Reconstruction following the Civil War was an oppressive time for African Americans, with many in white America refusing to allow for black progress. Historians have, have argued back and forth over the years and how to categorize this period, and ultimately we've realized that this is a period uh, that was sort of engineered to fail, right? Clark said the piece will take viewers all around the country following families who left the South, mostly to urban cities like Chicago and New York, but rural as well. The PBS crew from New York seeks not to helicopter in, but rather to build relationships with the real people of Alexandria and Pineville who can help tell the family histories of a time when African Americans were separate but not equal. In Pineville, Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.